Good evening, everyone. Welcome back. Let the May Madness begin. Baseball sectionals heating up with the temperatures tonight around the state of Indiana. Tarot North Patriots hosting the 4A sectional this year. Let's take you there. It's North and Mooresville in game one at 530 this evening. Bottom of the first. Pioneers looking for that first run. This one has hit hard to left, but Jason Cottrell flags it down for the nice catch and the out. Later in the inning, how about this play on defense for North? This one is grounded to third. Tristan Elder fires to first. Great scoop by Parker Hudson. We are still scoreless. How about that pick? Top of the third, still 0-0. Zero to zero. Not anymore. Tristan Elder with a man on. Sends this one for a ride towards the JV softball field. That is a two-run bomb. North is up 2-0. to nothing. Patriots were one. One strike away from up 11 to 1 to 10 runner Mooresville, but Mooresville comes back 12 to 11 to stun Terre Haute North tonight and end their baseball season. The nightcap, Terre Haute South and Brownsburg, bottom of the first. Here comes Brownsburg. Michael Olger with a single, and that will drive home Carrington Cross. And the Bulldogs grab a 1-0 lead over the Terre Haute South Braves. Later, though, Cole Whitlock on the bump for the Braves. He's been big all season. Gets the strike out here, 1-0 Brownsburg after one inning of play. How about this defensive play from South a little later? Dribble to short. Caleb Stoltz with a pick and fire to first for another out. But South trying to hang tough. Brownsburg just too much in the end. They end Terre Haute South season. 5-0 your final time in the sectional at the north side. How about the Sullivan Golden Arrows taking on Brown County 3A baseball sectional? Here's William Vernelson. He picks up an RBI to right. Eli Steinle comes around to score, makes it one to nothing in the third. Later in the inning, Jack Connor with a sacrifice. They'll trade that out for a run very easily. Vernelson scores. The Arrows grab a two to nothing lead. For Brown County, they pad the lead with Alex Cooks. Another clutch hit to left. Cameron Walters rounds third. Heads on the arrows. Big win. 13 0 in six innings. Your final. They will take on Owen Valley in a semifinal game on Monday at noon. The other half of that bracket. Great one Monday. West Vigo and Edgewood. High school baseball sectional. Softball semifinal night for high school softball. It's supposed to be at Owen Valley. They moved it to Edgewood, just like baseball. Great pair of games there. Let's take you there. First up, West Vigo and Sullivan doing battle. Here's the Vikings, Rihanna Maple. She has some good defense behind her. Watch as they turn this 5-4-3 double play to end the fourth. West Vigo led 2 to nothing at that point. To the fifth. How about number five with a deep shot to center? That one is gone. Alex Barnaby with a solo shot. That puts the Vikings up 3 to nothing. They would mob her at the home plate after that. Here's how it ended. Maples induces the pop-up to second, and that will do it as West Vigo. They are on to the title game on Saturday. Only question is, who would they play? 3 to nothing. Your final. Here it is in the nightcap. Rematch of the WIC Championship. Northview and Brown County. Top first, it's tonight's Addie Thompson. She has good speed to beat this grounder out to first. How about that for the North View Lady Knights? Then third, it's Madeline Ritchie later in the inning. The grounder does the job out at first, but that's okay because Thompson scores. Knights lead one to nothing, and a solid job on the mound tonight for Haley Ellis. She gets the strikeout here to end the second. Keep an eye on her. She is just a junior. Very talented pitcher for North View in the third. They tried to add a couple more runs. Thompson goes two for two with another single, and the Knights get the win. They will play West Vigo Saturday, 433 to nothing. Your final Class A sectional championship. North Rand battling Park Heritage, top of the fourth. Two to nothing Falcons. Emily Fitzwater cruising in this one. Gets the strikeout here for North V. Bottom of the inning, the Falcons looking for more in the fourth inning. This one is lined to short. How about Park Heritage freshman Kalen McKinney? A sweet catch there. Keeps the score two to one. Just a one run ball game. Defense just as solid though for the Falcons tonight. Whiskey Keller with a great scoop and throw to first for the out. In the end, North Moran wins their second straight sectional for the first time in school history. Two to one the final over Park Heritage. They've been working hard for this all year long. It was kind of a goal they set early on, and uh, they just had to scrap. They don't quit. They just stay in it. Had a tough game, first game down here. They pulled it off and, and uh, got another one tonight. It's absolutely amazing. It's a dream come true. We've been working for this all season, and to have it come true is phenomenal. It feels amazing. I'm just so proud of my team, and I just couldn't be more happier right now at this moment. How about the Lenton Miners playing for a sectional championship tonight as well? But Southridge pulls the party. They tie the game late, then win 5-4 in nine innings as the Miners' season comes to an end in Lenton. And the Sycamores in a dogfight with Illinois State, the MVC baseball attorney. Last check, Illinois State up 10-7 in the eighth. Remember, that is double elimination. Hey, that is a wrap for sports. More news to come after this.